Hey everybody, I'm Winslow Bent, owner of Legacy Classic Trucks, and I'm here today with my 1949 Dodge Power Wagon. This is the 106th Power Wagon that we've built at our shop, and I'm really excited to take you guys through this truck today and show it to you. You'll see that uh, this is one of our four-door Power Wagons. All of these trucks originally started out as regular cab trucks with a nine-foot bed, and then we take these and make them into both extended cab and crew cab pickup trucks. This one is a crew cab with a long bed, what we call the Texas package. It comes in at a whopping 144 inch wheelbase. You see we're running the 40 inch Toyo tires, trail ready bead locks. We got king coilovers up front, working back down along the truck here. We've got our entry steps, which make jumping into this behemoth a lot easier. Those are some modified parts from AMP Research. Suicide doors, so you can pile in and out of the back. There's a couple of different ways you can configure these vehicles. This one has four Corbu captain's chairs. Those are covered in a relic distressed gun smoke leather. You can see we do a French stitch all of our interior work is done in-house. Nice, clean Mercedes-Benz square weave carpet. You've got your traditional six-gauge six cluster here. And then as you move into the center, you've got pyro and boost on the turbo diesel trucks. Above that, Got a nice stereo system, XM, Bluetooth, and the Vintage Air HVAC controls there for your defrost, heat, air conditioning. There's a tilt wheel going down below. You can see a switch panel that's got dual USB ports. Switch to control the air compressor for inflating the tires, front and rear work lights, power windows, trailer brake controller, subwoof controller, grid heater for cold start. Everything is nice, oversized, easy to use if you're wearing gloves. We're running a Dana 60 in the front, Dana 80 in the back, 456 gears with Posi track. And the big question that everyone asks, well, what's under the hood? In this truck, we're running a 5.9 Cummins, 12 valve, Think of it as a stock or stock plus kind of tune. This one's set up for towing. So we went with the industrial injection fat shaft turbo, running that into the Chrysler four speed. That's a 4.7 RH built transmission, NP205 transfer case. That's putting down right now, at it's at its mildest tune. It's putting down about 550 to 600 foot pounds, 300 to 350 horsepower. Just perfect. Uh, the owner of this truck tows a 14,000 pound trailer, and this does a great job of getting him and all his toys up to the mountains. Coming around to the front of the truck here, in the tradition of Dodge Power Wagon, you gotta have a big winch in the front. For this one, we went with a Warren 12,000, and we incorporated that into the original bumperettes on the truck. We wanted to keep our lighting package pretty subtle, so we just went with some small rigid lights we didn't really want to take away a lot from the front. In an effort to keep the under hood temperatures nice and low with that big 5.9 Cummins, we left the hood vents off, kind of like an early hot rod. We went with these leather straps right here. They're super easy to open up like that. Then again, right here, we added a hood rod. 
And you'll see in our trucks that everything's really easy to get to, whether it's your brake proportioning valve, you want to check the oil, transmission fluid. This is a GM Hydro Boost unit right here. So we're running that power steering and brakes all through on one circuit. Works super, super well when you're turning these big tires. Again, this is a recreation bed. Whenever you find these old Dodge Power Wagons, the beds are super hammered because these were work trucks. So this is a recreation bed here. Looking inside the bed, we kept the bed wood, but this is an African Sapelli wood. It's a really nice marine grade mahogany. Super easy to take care of, looks really sharp. You'll see we added a fifth wheel in here for towing. And on this particular truck, we went with an auxiliary radiator in the back. A la King of the Hammers buggy, we did an auxiliary radiator because we were concerned about that front area not being large enough to keep a 5.9 cool. So now we've got that second radiator and it comes on when you're working the engine really hard and I can't get these temps to come up above 185, 190. So it's working out really, really well. This truck, as you see, took just under 3,000 hours to build. Price tag is $318,000. It's a ton of money, but it was a ton of work. As I mentioned, just building it into a crew cab takes 1,000 hours alone. Then you've got all your body work, your paint work, all the replacement parts, suspension, the list goes on and on and on. And uh, while I know not everyone can do a $300,000 car, I know I can't. If you're in the market for one, I highly recommend you give one of these a look.